when cardiac rhythm disturbances reach a level of significance that they require treatment, the doctor has several options. In general, heart rhythms that are too slow usually end up being treated by implanting a pacemaker. The generator under the skin usually wires down to the heart that delivers the electrical impulse to make sure that the heart beats regularly. When heart rhythms are too fast, almost always the first line approach is to try to correct that with medications, either by converting it back into a normal lub-dub rhythm, or if we can't get it to convert, by slowing down the lower chambers enough that they have time to relax, fill, beats, and, and uh, restore a normal rate um, heartbeat for the patient. If those are ineffective, then the patient may be referred for what we call an ablative procedure. We take advantage of the fact that electricity cannot jump a scar. So if we have electricity that's running chaotically, continuously around the upper chamber like this, and we put strategically placed scars, it will channel that electricity much like the maze in your Sunday paper. Enter here, exit here. So all the muscle gets activated so it beats, but it can't keep going chaotically. That's called an ablation, and that can be done sometimes through a catheter and sometimes through surgery that the surgeon does by going in and actually operating on the heart. 